Hello and welcome. I'm Steve, and this is Bland Man Studios, where I make creative stuff and talk about the technology behind it. If you've seen some of my other videos like this one, you know about my setup, where I play Windows exclusive video games in a virtual machine running on Linux. If you've seen my tutorial series, you probably know how to set the same thing up for yourself. Today I'd like to show you another awesome piece that works on top of that setup, and that is Looking Glass. Looking Glass is a free and open source piece of software that lets you display your GPU accelerated VM in a window on a regular Linux desktop. I've been using my PC this way for about four or five months now, and I honestly feel like it's the last piece of the puzzle. I've been dual booting computers for probably eight years, and I've been using GPU accelerated VMs for at least two. Both of those setups were great, but the pain of switching back and forth between Linux and Windows meant that I just ended up spending all my time in Windows. With VFIO and Looking Glass, I finally have a computer that can run any game or program I throw at it, and I actually spend the majority of my time in Linux. If you're like me, I think you understand why that's so exciting. So without further ado, let me show you what I have. If you finished my tutorial series, you probably have an otherwise vanilla Fedora install that starts up with Virtual Machine Manager running when you log in. I've configured a VM with all the same settings I showed you in those videos and a few tweaks on top. You can see the GPU is passed in. It has six virtual CPUs and its hypervisor is KVM but there are a few differences with this. The first difference is that I've installed the Looking Glass host application to this VM and configured it to start at login. And I've configured the VM to log in automatically without needing a password. So I can start the VM and you'll see the virtual spice display. And once it's showing the Windows background, I know I'm ready to connect to Looking Glass. Okay, there it is. And I could just launch Looking Glass with this shortcut I've created and boom, it connects. I can use a hotkey to make it full screen and I can start a video game. the most kills to achieve victory. It's that simple. Well, it's that simple when you have it all set up and it's all working correctly and you know how to use it. Setup and troubleshooting is a great topic for another video, but today I'd like to show you how to use this. The three main pieces we need to look at are mouse and keyboard, sound, and where the video is really coming from. So if I look at the mouse and keyboard settings in the config window here, both are configured using EVDEV. This is the mouse and this is the keyboard. And this piece of code right here says that the mouse and keyboard should both switch between the guest and host when I press control and scroll lock at the same time. So you can see here the mouse is being used by the host. I can press scroll lock control and now the mouse is being used by the guest. I can press scroll lock control and it's back to being used by the host. You can see the keyboard works here, keyboard. And if I press scroll lock in control, the keyboard also works in here, keyboard. And I can press scroll lock control to bring it back to the host. Having the mouse and keyboard set up like this is a big time and effort saver compared to what I used to use, which was having two mice and then manually switching the keyboard by deleting it in the settings if I needed to. But the next thing to show off is hotkeys, which can be a little difficult to use, but very helpful. 
So I'll switch this back to the virtual display and minimize that, and we'll get to that later. But the hotkey that's most important, or the, the only one I really use, is the full screen hotkey. So with the, with the looking glass window selected, I can press scroll lock, and it, you can see the hotkeys there on the left. Scroll lock F is to make it full screen. So scroll lock F, and now it's full screen, but you can see the mouse and keyboard are still being used by the host, so they're not moving around. Um, actually, it looks like you, you can see it there in my capture, but it's not the Windows mouse. So I can press scroll lock and control, and now we have the mouse and keyboard in the VM. And I, if I were to press scroll lock F here, I can't make it go out of full screen because the keyboard is being used by the guest. So I need to press scroll lock control to use so it's being used by the host, and then I'll press scroll lock F to make it smaller again. And the thing that's a little bit frustrating about this is that you can't have something else selected, otherwise um, it's not gonna, scroll lock F isn't gonna do the right thing, so you have to have the window selected for looking glass and use scroll lock F. So this was a little counterintuitive to, to learn to use at first, but um, now it's basically automatic for me, and the UI can only get better from here. The next thing to show off is sound. And so that's why I was showing you that I left that window minimized. In this configuration, the sound is actually coming through this Spice Virtual Display here. So if I open up my Fedora sound settings and show you here, um, you can see right now, None of these are um, the VM, but if I start making noise in the VM, you can see it's coming through that vert manager, um, that vert manager stream right there. And so that is because it's coming through here. So I just leave this spice display open and minimize it. So there is a little bit of latency here. Um, for me, uh, audio latency isn't as important as video latency. So I find that this is good enough and it works, but if you're a really sensitive uh, gamer that can really like respond to sounds quickly, um, maybe that's a deal breaker for you. There is a new development in December. The Looking Glass dev posted a promising video of uh, a new way to do high performance audio streaming. Uh, I haven't followed along for the latest developments or tried it out. So for now, this just works for me and I, I don't have any complaints, but there might be new better ways to do this in the future with lower latency, maybe directly through Looking Glass or through some other third party software. But the last important piece to talk about is where this video is actually coming from. So right now my GPU is being passed into the virtual machine and the GPU has video outputs on it. And one of those video outputs is actually plugged into the secondary input on my monitor. And that's what Looking Glass is snooping on here. Um, so the virtual machine does have physical output. It's just that I'm not looking at it right now. Um, and that's actually like a really nice thing because if there's ever a problem with Looking Glass, I can just switch my monitor to that secondary input and look at what the VM is displaying. But really having Looking Glass do this is, is just such a like quality of life improvement that it allows me to spend so much more time in Linux and do real work in Linux and just have um, gaming be in the VMs. I hope that makes sense. I hope that gives you a picture of what Looking Glass is and what it's like to use on a daily basis. If you'd like a tutorial or more info on any of the other VFIO tricks I use, definitely subscribe and let me know in the comments what you'd like to see. Thanks for watching and don't forget to stay bland.